Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to make some relative velvet cupcakes. And what you'll need is some flour, some sugar, some cocoa powder, four eggs, two sticks of butter which is equivalent to 16 tablespoons or one cup some baking soda, some baking vanilla, and some red food coloring, and then some milk. All right, and then we need to measure out the salad ingredients and mix it together. All right, then we need two and a half cups of flour, measuring stuff out you want it to be as flat and accurate as possible all right should look something like that you don't need to add another half a cup cup of this cocoa powder. And it should look like that. All right, and then we need one teaspoon of this baking soda. Get that mixed together. And with mixing stuff together, it's important that you get it as mixed up as good as you can get it. Alright, and once the dry ingredients are all mixed together, it should look something like And now we need to move on to the liquids. It was the Two sticks of butter that we have, we need to melt that in the microwave so when it's completely melted, and then we're going to pour it. Once the butter is completely melted, it should look like this in a measuring cup. Here it is a little bit closer. And then we're going to pour that in. Alright. And then if it's sort of a little, if there's, there's still a little bit of butter left like that, it's fine. All right, and then we're going to add the eggs, and then we need four eggs. And the trick to getting these open is by cracking on the side, and there should be a crack like that. 
and then we split it open like that. Then try not to get the eggshells into the mixture. Let's do one. This is the third one. And then the last egg. All right. And then we need a half a cup of milk. And you can really use any type of milk you want. But I'm gonna use some oat milk. And if you're wondering why it's in the container like this, it's because like before, well, like I had like the oat milk and I wasn't gonna use it. So I decided to put it in the containers and then freeze it. And then I pulled it out of the freezer and put it into the fridge so it could thaw out. look like that but you don't have to oh, use oat milk if you don't want to but if you want you can always use whole milk or like two percent reduced fat milk all right and then we need to measure out the vanilla extract and then we need Two teaspoons of the vanilla extract. Yeah, kind of spilled over a little bit. But I'll just add an extra half since it spilled over a little bit. Because I don't really want it to be like too much or anything. Alright, and then we need to mix that all together. And once again, with mixing stuff together, it's important that you get it as mixed up as good as you can get it. But then with this, if you want, you can use an electrical beater to get it mixed up. All right, and once all the ingredients are mixed together, it should look something like this. And then we are going to add the red food coloring next. And with this red food coloring, you can really add the amount that you want. And then we are going to mix all that up. All right, and then it should look something like this. And then it's not really like red, red or anything, but I did add some red food coloring to it. All right, let's move on to the next start. And with the oven, we need to preheat it to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, that's too high. Okay, sorry. All right, and then with these cupcakes, they make about 30 cupcakes, and that's if you do the standard size. And then I got some small ones right here. Which I'll call these little ones like mini cupcakes. And then I'll call this regular sized cupcakes. All right, and then with these inserts here that like you can use these insert things if you want to but if you want you can either use like the reusable ones or there's even some paper ones that you can use too so i got some for like the standard size cupcakes and i got some for like the mini cupcakes and then i got some for muffins too but with these cupcakes you can make it if you want you can make um like muffins or like regular size cupcakes or like maybe like mini cupcakes or if you want you can just make like a regular cake out of it and like decorate it the way you want all right it's easy so we we're going to 
put these in here like that. But if you don't have any of these reusable fillings, well, actually, inserts. Well, technically, the real name for them is the liners or these paper ones. You can always use the cooking spray and then, like, just like spray it and put the dough in there. But if you're gonna be using these liners, you don't have to use the cooking spray. And then with the batter, it's going to rise when it's baking the oven, so I don't recommend filling it any more than right around halfway full. And then we keep on doing that until all of the batter is used up. Alright, and then I got all of the dough mixed up. And then this is what the standard cupcakes look like. And then this is what the mini cupcakes look like. And then if you want, you can like top it off with some like fish red food coloring. And then we are going to bake it in the oven for about 20 minutes or until a fork or a toothpick comes out of it clean. And then if you guys want to, you can even like sprinkle the top so with, with like a little bit of like sprinkles too. Or um, like before you put the batter in here, you could even like mix in there some sprinkles too. All right, so in this part, I'm gonna show you how to make some vanilla frosting and what you need is a stick of butter which is equivalent to a half a cup or eight tablespoons and then some powdered sugar and then some baking vanilla and then some milk and you can use any type of milk you want and then if you want you can even add some sprinkles too all right and with the power sugar, we need one fourth of a cup. start out with the fourth of a cup. Alright. <clears throat> Alright. And then we need to add um, a stick, the stick of butter. And we need the stick of butter to be close to room temperature or at room temperature. All right, and then we need one fourth of a cup of milk, and I'm using oat milk. And then we need one teaspoon of the vanilla extract.
But if you want your frosting to be more sweet, you can always add some more powdered sugar to it. And we are going to use the electrical mix, the electrical mixer, and mix it up. Okay, well, like, like, with the butter, maybe it's best if we melt the butter because it looks like this and it doesn't look like it's going to turn out. So I'm going to try melting the butter to see if that works and uh, to see if it helps thicken it up. But then it could be because I didn't add enough with powdered sugar either. But I'm going to have to experiment to see what I did on my part. Okay, yeah, I don't, I like, do not think I had enough perfection sugar or no, powdered sugar. I'm gonna have to be adding a half a cup. So now I'm up to a 12, 3 fourths a cup of perfection of sugar. Alright, let's see if this works. Oh yeah. I just came up with something. With the recipe, I'm using a Say it's gluten free too, so it could be changing up the texture too. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna search up a different recipe. So I'm just gonna have to do that. Alright, so I do look at some other recipes on the internet, but then I also searched up how to get your frosting to thicken up, and then Google claims to add some corn starch. I don't really know how true this is because not everything on the internet is really 100% true. But let's give it a try. Right, so I'm going to start out with a teaspoon. Alright, let's see if this works. Yeah, I need to add a little bit more. Okay, let's see if this will work. Okay, it looks like it's starting to thicken up a bit. It's technically, in this case, the internet is still not lying to me. But if you are really making the same recipe that I am, and it's a little runny, if you want, you can add some cornstarch to it. It seems like that the cornstarch is working, so. <laughs> Starts, you can add it until the frosting is the consistency that you like it to be at. Alright, and then when the frosting is all made up with the cornstarch in it, it should look something like this. And uh, let's see how this works. I'm in the cup. Oh, yeah, and sorry about the whole confusion thing, too. Alright, and then with this frosting. If you want, you can add some sprinkles. Cause I, there's some rainbow sprinkles you can add. And 
Okay, so I'm designing our ones. And some more of the rainbow ones. And you can even ask my Christmas tree ones if you're like making some if you want it to be like more Christmassy. And there's some Valentine ones you could add. Or if you want, you can even add some decorating sugar to it too. And uh, there's a lot of options for sprinkles these days. And with the sprinkles, you can really use any type and color you like. And then that's the same with the dark grain sugar too. Alright, and then once the cupcakes are done and cooled off, it should look something like this. And with these, you don't want to overcook them and have them be like really solid. And like you want them to be like kind of like nice and like soft, but like not too soft. And you don't want it to be uh, any like doughy or any of them. All right. And then I'm gonna take these out and I'm gonna put them onto this cooling rack, even though they're completely cooled off. All right, I got the cupcakes onto the cooling rack, and then this is the one that, this is what the one with the reusable liner looks like. And then the one without the liner. And then one with the paper liner. And then this is what it looks like on the mini cupcake. And then, yeah. All right, and then I got the vanilla frosting right here that I'm gonna use to put on to the cupcakes. And then I'm gonna be using a spoon to, to put on there. And then possibly the uh, butter knife to spread it out some. And with the frosting, you can add the amount that you want. And you can add it any way you like to. And if you want to, you can even um, use some food coloring to color the frosting. And if you don't want to make your own frosting, you can also use the store-bought stuff too. 